Scored by number nine, Drake Embry. And the goal came in the 61st minute. Scored by number 16, Josh Risen. And the goal came in the 84th minute. This is John Kissner for Robins TV after today's game against Herm Bay. It finished Car Short and Athletic nil, Herm Bay 2. And I have with me again two stalwart supporters, as Christian and Russell from uh, Car Short. And what did you make of the game today, Russell? Well, unfortunately, I was working, so I missed all the far first half magic. But the second half, very frustrating. Gave Herm Bay two goals. Uh, we done everything except put the ball in the back of the net. The goalkeeper made a good save. I think if we scored one, I think they would have cracked and we could have won the game. But somehow or other, we weren't up for it. They blocked us out in the middle of the park. We weren't so good in the middle of the park. We weren't playing our flowing football like we normally do. Unfortunately, they come with game plan, stuck to it. They deserve to win. OK, thanks, Russell. Christian, what's your take on it? Uh, well, in the first half, we had quite a few chances uh, where we missed a few open goals and stuff like that. Maybe the crosses were too hard and things like that. 
it's difficult to take. Um, in the second half, you're always kind of worried about games like this after the Mosley game on the Friday night but, uh, against low, sort of lower league opposition and things like that, that we might struggle. And when we miss those chances, it kind of sort of sort of came a bit more prominent that uh, they might have the chance to nick them on the break and things like that and nick goals and they actually did today. But I've got to give credit to the team, like Russ said, they set up well, they defended well, their keeper made some absolutely fantastic saves and we just didn't put the ball away so I have to give the team credit, well played Herne Bay. Yeah they certainly came with a game plan today Herne Bay and they executed it extremely well. I've got with me John their manager, thanks for joining me. What, what's your take on the game John? Um, it was a good game, I mean we knew he was going to come here, we knew he was going to be a battle. Like, We've watched us a fair few times, and for us, you know, technically probably the best side in the league. And we knew that we'd have to, you know, defend well if we was going to get anything out of the game. And then try, and, when, we, when, we, when we did get opportunities, to try and get on the ball and pass it and play. And, and, and hopefully try and, you know, play a little bit more off the counter and, uh, and, and go along that route. I think you came with, definitely came with a great game, game plan. You tucked in behind and frustrated us a lot, especially in the first half. Yeah, yeah, because you know, like what we what, what we felt was we didn't want to go behind early, and um, we felt that with your players, especially two wide players, that you know they're bright and they're quick and, and they get at you and, and they cause problems. So you know, we made sure that we didn't um, have too much of an issue with that, making sure that we banked up behind, doubled up when we needed to, and uh, and worked hard. We had some chances, didn't we? Yeah, we had a lot of chances. I think we we should have got a, a lot more shots. Um, I think uh, Herne Bay played better. Okay, and what did you think of the game today? Um, I thought exactly the same, but um, we should have had some more shots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Their goalkeeper played well though, didn't he? Yeah. Made some good saves. Yeah. 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 Okay, and what? Did, and I thought they they finished their two goals very well, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. And I think I think we definitely should have won that. As well. uh -huh. But we played a lot of teams in the lower ranked teams: Guernsey away, uh, East Grinstead away, where we didn't get anything. Uh, Mosley away. I wanted three points, but. We never play well against lower ranked teams. For some other reason, we seem to switch off. We think we've just got to turn up and we've got the three points in the bag already. But wouldn't you think they come set up, you know, they come set up the lower teams to play a certain way against us, where maybe some higher teams are a bit more open? Yeah, yeah, the lower teams come with a game plan, like Herne Bay did today. They stuck to the game plan, got two away goals on the way break, and we just couldn't, just didn't have the rub of the green. Couldn't put the ball in the back of the net, we could play all night and still not score tonight, I'm on the thought, but we have to take the rough with the smooth, so we've now got a six pointer on Boxing Day. We've got Shoreham next week where well, it should be three points on the bag, but Boxing Day game is a very, very important game, which is we, a must win game. Yeah, and Corinthian Casuals who we're playing on Boxing Day, I think they lost 2 0 or 1 0 today. Cray Wanderers were the only team in the top five that actually won today. Uh, Lewis lost, and uh, who else was there who lost? I think there's another team that lost. Uh, Greenwich won, yeah, so, but we're, we're still there. Got to bounce back. I mean, I think today Cole Shorten were all over the pitch. They were making the opportunities, making the, the chances, but just weren't taking them today. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up. Um, we created enough chances to win two or three games today. And it felt like we could have been out there all day, all night, and we still wouldn't have scored. Um, so now just one of them days that it weren't meant to be. Um, the boys have been fantastic over the last 10, 11 games. Uh, first defeat in 11 games. Um, all we have to now concentrate on is dusting ourselves off and going again and replicating what we've done over the last 10 games um, up to, to um, this game. And hopefully we could do the same again and go on another decent run. Yeah, we're still in the mix. We got the fortunate uh, sort of results today in our favour in terms of Corinthian casuals and in terms of Lewis losing. Cray were always going to be a worry because they were two games behind us and Corinthian casuals. So obviously they're just playing their games in hand and they're actually performing. And in fairness, they were 2-0 down to Sittingbourne and they came back to win 3-2. So I think Cray are the team to watch. But, you know, based on the results that have actually happened today, it's not as bad as it seems. But we do need to bounce back strongly against Shoreham away. I just hope Raheem Sterling Parker's all right because he seemed to have to be helped off the pitch at the end and you know we don't really have like an alternative striker at the moment so it's a bit of a concern but I'm kind of hoping that 
it's a quick recovery and he's back in time for the next game against Shoreham. Yeah, OK, thanks. And yes, yeah, we've got some other teams. As we know, on Boxing Day, we've got Crinton Casuals, uh, we've got Horsham coming up, uh, we've got South Park away on New Year's Day. So there's winnable games there, so we've got to bounce back and do well in those, haven't we? We certainly have. Um, there's still plenty of points on the table to win. Teams have beat, beat each other in this league. It's a funny old league. Um, you win some, you lose some. But we've just got to regroup again to get our thinking caps on again. So keep playing the football, don't pump it up in the air, because teams will beat us. We're a team who put the ball in the park, knock it about, and that's what I'd love to see. And this is why we're so high up in the league, because we are playing football. Yeah. Your goalkeeper had an outstanding match, don't you think? Made some world-class saves today. Yeah, do you know what? Uh, he's a great lad. I mean, we got him. he comes, comes from up north. I've known him for a little while. He's, he's an outstanding goalkeeper. You know, it, it, I'd, be, I'd push for a better goalkeeper in this league than him. And, you, and you've got a young squad, haven't you? They're quite, all quite young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, we've probably got the youngest squad in, in the, probably the country, I reckon. Like The average age of, I mean, we had uh, Jono and John o and the goalkeeper, both 29. And we brought in um, uh, Femi, who used to play for Hughes. Yeah. Um, we brought him in. But other than that, the rest of them are all like 18. Yeah, and Nassim Ducali played for us a couple of times. And, uh, of course, um, the big lad up front, Kingsley, Kingsley Akinbari, he played for us quite a while as well. Yeah, they're good lads. I mean, you know, they work hard, they've come in, they've... They've got their heads down and they've really, really, I feel they've really improved this season. You know, their, their, their work rate, their, their, their attitude in the squad with the rest of the lads has been brilliant. Uh, you know, their, their desire to do well has been great and, and they've been great assets for us. Opportunities were made, it just don't look like the boys were sharp enough in front of goal today. Against teams like Lewis and Greenwich, um, the, teams are, the boys are always up for it, but for these middle apart the teams, it seems like uh, mentally they're not switched on or something. I mean, what, what, what's going on? I mean, what can you put your, can you put your finger on it? Well, I can't, can't really say that in terms of if we weren't creating chances, then I'll be asking questions regarding our mentality and our approach to the game. But when you create what, seven, eight, nine, ten great chances through the course of 90 minutes, you expect to take two, three or four of those. And, you know, if we went two, three nil up before half time, I don't think they would have had any complaints really. And coming that second half, before their goal, we had another three or four great chances to actually take the lead, and we didn't. Um, and that, that's football for you sometimes. You don't take your chances, you end up being punished down the other end of the pitch. What impre impressed me on the PA was the work rate, basically. Uh, working disciplined work rate, tucking in, uh, not letting us play. We, we looked quite tame, really, pushing the ball back the goalkeeper quite a lot. Um, and I think a lot of that was due to your shape and the fact you kept hassling us. Yeah, yeah, I mean, as I said, Kingsley and Jake, you know, it starts from them. You know, if you're going to defend well, the front two have got to do the right things. And they shut off lines from yours. They allowed your two centre arse to have the ball, which we was happy with. We didn't want your full backs bombing on and overloading, so they'd done their job all the time. And I said the midfield three, they, they worked hard, they tracked people, because we knew that you, you know, your ten's a very clever player. He drops off, picks up little holes. So we knew we had to press when we had to, and then, and then when to let you just concede space and concede possession at times, just let you play in front of us. If we did that, we knew you'd get frustrated. Well done, John. That pushed you up the table as well. Yeah, you know, to be fair, I, 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 we're a bit disappointed with our position, man, because we've been we've, been, we've had a few bad results, but the scoreline don't uh, represent the game. You know, like we've it's just been it's been crazy. To be fair, since second half performances have just it seems like sometimes we play against teams and everything of it's just gone in, and all of a sudden. It, you're on the back foot and then yeah. you chase the game and then you're not getting done a few more.